Midge larvae are probably some of the most important and common food sources for trout. They are in every river and creek, and some parts of the year can be the only food source for the fish. This fly is so easy and quick to tie, you can make up a few dozen of them in an hour. You only need a hook and some thread. You can tie these thin with a finer thread or thick with a heavier thread. We will want to start our thread with a little space behind the eye of the hook. We will need this space to whip finish the fly without any bulk. Secure the thread with a few smooth and even thread wraps. Then trim up the tag end. Wrap down the hook shank and stop just shy of the sharp bend in the hook. Make sure your wraps are even and smooth. Spin your thread so it becomes rounded, kind of like rope. Then wrap up the hook shank with space between the wraps. This will form the body ribbing for the fly. Make sure your ribbing is evenly spaced out. About 8 to 14 wraps is good depending on the hook size. Now, whip finish your fly. Make sure you don't build too high on your whip finish. Usually just three to four wraps will do it. And make sure also that your whip finish wrap sits smooth and don't form a bulge. You can either snip off the tag end of the thread or you can snap it off by pulling it quickly. The final step is to add a glossy type head cement. I am using hard as hull, which works quite well. Make sure and coat the entire fly but keep it out of the eye of the hook. Let the head cement sit on the fly for a few seconds, then wipe off the excess with your fingers. And there we have it, an easy and quick midge fly that takes a matter of seconds to tie. You should be able to tie up quite a few of these the night before your fishing trip. If you like what you see, please subscribe. You can leave your questions in the comment section below. Now, go catch some fish.